With all eyes on the $4.7 billion Fairfax bid to save BlackBerry, people are asking about the CEO of Fairfax, Prem Watsa. Who is he? Jacqueline Nelson is here to shed some light on the matter. So who is Prem Watsa? What has he accomplished with Fairfax in the past? So Prem Watsa is known in Canada as being a bit of a contrarian investor and has made a real name for himself on betting against the market at some really key times. Now, particularly recently, he made a big bet just before the recession that made him profit during the recession at a time when a lot of companies were struggling. So this is part of why he is so revered, his successful past. Uh, he is often compared to Warren Buffett. He's called Canada's Warren Buffett. Is that an accurate portrayal of the man? He definitely idolizes Warren Buffett and is known to quote him in annual meetings and that sort of thing. Now, both of the men have a sort of value investing style, which makes them quite similar. On top of the fact that Prem Watson invests in Warren Buffett's company, uh, Berkshire Hathaway, they also are known to take sort of longer term looks at companies and invest uh, for the future. And that would include uh, big bets on insurance companies. Both men are very much invested in insurance companies to the point where Fairfax could be seen as an insurer rather than just an investment company. Now it seems like Prem has been a little bit media shy in the past. I don't know if that's a fair thing to say about him, but do you see him stepping out more into the media spotlight now with all the attention on the BlackBerry deal? Well certainly, you know, maybe a decade ago we wouldn't have seen him at all. He was uh, just not interested really in being public with his ideas it seemed. But more recently, especially around BlackBerry, he is sort of stepping out and uh, with some of the uncertainty surrounding whether or not that deal will go through. He's been very clear and spoke confidently that he is sure he has enough support to push that deal through. So he's been a lot more open about his investment ideas more recently. And his big emphasis is on keeping BlackBerry in Canada and keeping it whole. Keeping it, uh, yes, it's more than the sum of the parts to him. And again, he's seeing BlackBerry as a good investment for the longer term to build up that company out of the spotlight as a private company and not break it up into pieces as maybe some investors would have. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Jacqueline.